This project had a lot of challenges and it was moving very, very quickly. Every 50 minutes we had a new drawing issued to us and so the old method of using paper and tape didn't work. There's no access to this site. It's the toughest site in my career. It's the largest education building ever built in the state of Oregon. And so um, a lot of eyes were on us from the legislature, from the city, and so we wanted to get it right. It was really a, a team effort with the client, the designers, and J.E. Dunn. We co-located at the job site, so in essence, we worked literally side by side with J.E. Dunn. Using the Dunn dashboard and the blue beam process made the project a lot easier. We would have had several million dollars worth of printing costs alone that we were able to save through the use of Smartsheet, SharePoint, and blue beam with the Trimble units uh, working together with the other trades allowed us to lay out the decks and mark our points a lot faster. We had EOS set up so the subcontractors out in the field could actually look at the model and validate that all their bends match the way it's supposed to look. And then going into the uh, BIM 3D models uh, for clashing was a big, big help. It made it so much easier to keep the design team, the construction team all on the same page. The University of Colorado is very interested in LEED and green buildings. As hard as we were pushing, J.E. Dunn was pushing even harder. I think the standards were very high in terms of facility performance, so like the high performance data centers in terms of its energy efficiency. The energy goals for the office facility are extremely aggressive. The laboratories are very unique, high bay laboratories to do research that isn't currently done in the United States. But this is the most unique facility I've ever been involved in, period. And I come from a varied background, including nuclear projects and cleanup projects, and uh, I've never seen anything like this. We also looked at the, the value of attaining lead platinum and what we would get cost savings wise and how much it costs up front. We did do some lean implementation through a pull planning session through some of the scheduling on key elements to the project. Came up with a plan for delivery schedules, uh, for pick schedules with the crane, you know, and just communicating. There was very little lay down storage area, so it was literally on time delivery brought in with prefabricated elements from the major subcontractors going to the building, all based on the building information modeling program that we set up. There was a pride of ownership from the JE Dunn folks that I've never experienced before. We were partners from the beginning. It was part of a design-build contract. Their involvement was, was essential. It wasn't just, you know, here's some blueprints, you know, build it. This was a shared vision and, and trying to do something that was special. So this is a, a huge success story, and I'm really excited. Being a laboratory and so dense with MEP systems and trying to get architectural systems to work within that, we were able to reduce the number of RFIs issued in the field. Being able to grab submittals and RFIs and different change order documents was incredible. They have the tools, the technology platform to be able to make that happen. It's tempting to let quality slide when you're moving so fast on such a complicated project, but it was really clear that J.A. Dunn held strong to their values of delivering quality. The way that J.A. Dunn engaged and supported the safety aspects of this project started very early. The most important part of that was the transparency. There was nothing hidden. All of the issues were brought out quickly, dealt with immediately, and uh, they made the job very, very easy. During the period that this project was active, uh, J.E. Dunn uh, conducted their Minority Contractor Business Development Program. We had a lot of expectation uh, on this project from the legislature, uh, from other stakeholders, um, that we would exceed expectations on engaging minority contractors um, as well as um, um, having a diverse workforce as well as uh, bring in a lot of small businesses and emerging businesses. You know, building a building of this scale is incredibly challenging. To have a contractor that's part of your team that you enjoy being with every single day um, just makes it a, you know, a much better project. Because of their collaborative nature, because of their wanting to partner with the design team to make this project be very successful. The hyperlinked PDF set, that was a huge boon to this project. Their upper management down to project site management uh, did a great job here and we look forward to working with J.E. Dunn again on future projects.